Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please don't forget to do, uh, click the subscribe button and um, press the notification bell for new videos. If you're a returning uh, viewer, thank you very much for your ongoing support. Now you can see here, I'm just uh, playing around with the new uh, Dior website in Australia. Uh, well, it's not that new now. Now I think it's been like a month or two that they've upgraded the, the look of the site. Um, but I want to show you um, the holiday uh, season uh, makeup on the Australian website. I think a lot of the videos on our YouTube channel uh, that talks about Dior Beauty seems to be focused on um, the US sites. Um, so given that I'm in Australia, I just thought I'll, you know, show what's available in the Australian website, which I don't think there's a lot different, to be honest, with the holiday season packaging. Um, so you can see here, this is the advent calendar. I never buy the advent calendar when it comes to beauty because I don't love everything. Not everything is the right shade for me or the right smell. So I never bother. I think it's, to be honest, a bit of a waste of money unless you love everything about the brand. And, you know, I think that's quite difficult um, to achieve for any makeup brand that someone would just like everything about it. We all have different skin tones, um, different, you know, makeup style and things like that. Um, so here is another, you know, another holiday set um, that one can get with the uh, Miss Dior um, uh, uh, or the toilet perfume, the lip balm. Again, you know, not something I would go for myself personally just because, you know, you know my issue with the Miss Dior perfume unfortunately giving me quite a bit of a bad skin reaction when I've, uh, whenever I apply it so it's not for me but that's not to say it's not for others so you can see here yeah lots of different um, very beautifully packaged um, uh, sort of gift sets uh, which I think you know it is what it is is a bougie type of gift to give to um, close friends and family that I'm sure people will appreciate. Uh, for me, I would personally, because they all look like cardboard boxes to me, um, even though I do love packaging, you know, it's it something that I would go for when I know the products inside. It's not for me, probably not. Um, but what I'm interested in are these uh, sets that comes with makeup pouches. So yeah, in terms of the makeup pouches, it's uh, in gold color, it looks like it's fabric with zipper uh, charm. And there are a few options um, depending on what type of product you, uh, one would like. Um, they don't, I don't think it is it's at, at a discount price for the products like a lot of other makeup um, holiday season sets you actually get a bit a bit of a discount on the products as well as a special packaging but of course uh, with these luxury brands it doesn't work that way you're just getting the packaging as a freebie so to speak um, and I could see yeah look there's a skincare some skincare um, it looks like you know the site still got the white pouches which I don't think is a holiday season special they're just generally there as sets that's on the Australian website here I have bought a gift set for myself um, because yeah just for the holiday you know special season and I chose a set that I know I would make use of and in fact it's one of the cheapest gift set that comes in a pouch um, so here it is um, with any orders at Dior you get to choose some um, samples that they allow you to choose from it's often it's little samples of perfume I would have clicked more skincare products or makeup if that was available um, but yeah it's a, a lot of the times it's like perfume sizes uh, sorry uh, perfume sample size uh, oops there we go um, yeah so there is a always a nice uh, ribbon I'd be in love with ribbon. I don't know why. 
I'm just infatuated with ribbon. I don't use them. I just like the look of them. And I keep them. And yeah, I don't reuse them again. But anyway, um, you get again to design, well not design, but you get to write a message. Um, and so I just write something very generic um, that I could perhaps reuse as a um, gift card later on. If I was to buy something from Dior to give to someone from the store. Um, but I don't know when that would ever happen. It's never happened yet because um, I always just purchase online when it comes to beauty um, rather than going in store um, just so I can make use of the packaging and the samples. I always find it difficult to ask for samples when I don't know the essays well um, and they don't offer to you in Australia unless you ask. And sometimes even if you ask they say oh we don't have any samples um, that's not a deal but that that did happen in like department stores like David Jones and, and Myers and things like that so you can see here beautiful holiday cardboard package um, the pattern uh, is uh, sort of um, pressed onto the box so you can feel that so it's not printed it's not just like printed onto the box it's actually um uh sort of pressed into a like foil foil printing i guess so it's a it, you know it's a tactile um you know it's got a um a tactile feel to it so yeah so i've chosen the mascara set because you know we all use mascaras and um, I have been using the mascara Repimer, the, um, which um, I do find is quite um, nice. Um, it feels like it's quite hydrating and nourishing for the lashes. So make use of, um, of this uh, set. Um, so you can see here, beautiful uh, makeup pouch. I actually, I quite like this makeup pouch um, and you've got the plastic over to protect the, the zipper um, charm uh, look the zipper is not very smooth it's not the best zipper but you know I'm sure these pouches are you know because they're freebies they're you know low low cost production really um, so the inner lining you can still see the um, CD icons printed all over on the inner lining. It feels like it's going to be a bit of a waterproof uh, or water resistant type of polyester lining. And indeed it is 100% um, polyester with the lining um, and yet yeah, made in China. And um, yeah. Look, I think overall the construction of the makeup pouch is actually not too bad. Um, it looks like it's kind of, you know, quite well made for what it is um, as a freebie. And um, yeah, would I be using it as a bag, a makeshift bag? No, I think this, you know, it's, it's, it, it looks like a freebie makeup pouch, so I wouldn't be using it. Um, for you know to use it as a handbag per se um, i might use it for like putting in other items within my a bigger bag um, so nicely tissue paper wrapped um, with two wands of mascaras yeah not a lot i know and that's why i chose it because it's the you know it's the most practical is the low, lowest priced you still get the holiday packaging um, tissue paper again is uh, printed with Dior all over it and I will show you what I've recently been using these um, tissue paper and boxes for now that I've got quite a couple of the beauty um, Chanel and Dior sort of you know packaging uh, from the makeup uh, and beauty purchases online um, so yeah look um, I do find the uh, Dior uh, mascara um, quite good um, and yeah they're two full-sized mascara um, one is the black and the other one is just a primer mascara primer 
sorry just trying to get the camera to focus for me then you've got the white one which is the serum so yeah not I know not very exciting but you know I'm not actually getting a whole lot of excitement from Dior Beauty to be honest um, and you know I think I'm just kind of you know giving in into a bit of festivity or preparing for the festivity um, in terms of buying the, into these uh, holiday sets and you know the freebie pouch is quite nice um, so that's that's it in terms of unboxing um, very little I know um, now what do I do with the boxes I promised I will show you so here it is so yeah the reason why is recently I caught a cloth moth in my walk-in wardrobe and I had a massive panic I'm like, oh my god it's gonna start eating laying eggs and um, the, the you know the eggs will hatch and caterpillars will start uh, eating my into my cashmere and wooden knits um, so I checked all my items they were all good and Australia is moving into warmer weathers so I decided you know I might as well package them into boxes to protect them um, and I think the cardboard box like I think moths can chew through boxes um, depending on the thickness of the cardboard and because these beauty boxes are actually quite thick um, so I thought it w it would do for now, um, and I'll just you know package them up, um, and then I thought why not I used a nice tissue paper as well, and you know it just makes it a very luxurious uh, unboxing experience again when I re take them out when um, the weather cools again. Um, so that's how I um, decided to use the old packaging now um, so you do yeah so it depends on the size and the thickness of the sweater you do need to fold it in a way where it fits without making it too creased up um, I'm terrible at folding um, clothing and here I've got the Chanel box similarly from a uh, Chanel Beauty and um, yeah like that's the Chanel tissue paper uh, Chanel gives actually more tissue paper I found than Dior um, they fold a lot more layers in but anyway um, yeah so here's I've got another um, woolen sweater from Polo um, Ralph Lauren so yeah just fits uh, snugly into the box and um, yeah just I just feel that it's yeah just keeps the sweater a bit more protected um, and plus yeah it just makes the cupboard looks a bit more tidy because I'm not very good at folding um, clothing so they just always don't look that good when it's folded up and I can't be bothered to spend a lot of time folding things so anyway yeah so this is it from me today I hope you've enjoyed this short video until next time you all take care bye